Hello and welcome everyone to this uh, short video showing you the new um, interface uh, design elements we have just introduced to Nosby. Up until now, uh, if you have an action in a project or an inbox, um, if you want to change the parameters of the action, you, you will just click here and you will click and change and that's it. This works very well uh, and very nice, but if you have many contexts and many projects, it's, it's, uh, uh, this uh, design element uh, is no longer uh, that useful. I have several contexts, but then again, I have lots of projects. And now to find the right project, it's, it's, really, it's really hard. So we have decided to optimize this. Now we are back with the new interface. Um, what's the difference? It's a big one. Just click on an action. And now you can see that uh, all the parameters of the action are in green uh, clouds. And just look how easy it is right now to manipulate them. Just click on the context, for example. And here I have a list of my contexts. And to add a new context to this action, just click here. It's so easy. And to remove, it's the same thing. And um, if I have lots of contexts, and I'm searching, for example, for the waiting for context, I can just type waiting for, and I, the context is here, and I can add it right away. It's that easy. And when you're done editing, just click outside of the dialog box. Same goes with time. I can type here if I want to have, for example, three hours. It's that easy. And the best part is the same thing that goes with projects. So when I click on the project, just think about it. I have so many projects. So it's really hard to find what I want. For example, I want the product magazine project. There you go. It's so easy to find. I'll just click on productive. Magazine 7. And I just moved the action to the Proactive Magazine project. Same thing goes with who's responsible. I can choose uh, myself or, or my assistant. Or, and the same goes with repeat. I can repeat uh, the action here and uh, to make an action start or not start. And we have just improved our date picker. So when you click on that, you can choose um, the date here and the time here. So let's 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 schedule this thing for for let's for next week for twenty first, and um, let's make it you know ten a.m. It's that easy. If you don't want to specify time, you can move the slider back. You can remove the date entirely if you don't want to schedule date for this. And if you feel like typing, you can still type date and time the way it used to be. and it will work the same way as it used to. Help you manage uh, contexts and projects even faster, um, you can create projects and contexts directly from the new elements. Just click on a context, and you can see you can add new context here, and just type in the context name. There it is, new context is here, uh, along with my old color context. And the same thing goes with, uh, with the project. If you don't want to choose from all of your projects, you can create a new one. Just click here and type a new project name. The new elements for manipulating actions um, uh, will be soon introduced to, uh, to notes, files, and all the other aspects of Nosby. So stay tuned uh, and watch these enhancements. They are very useful for people who are new to Nosby, but also for people who, ha who, as me, have lots of contacts, lots of projects, and are very, very busy. Now for you, Processing uh, actions has become a lot easier. Hope you enjoyed these changes. This was Michael, nosby.com. Simply get things done.